Good morning. What's going on? You are tuning into Good Morning Bitcoin. This is Dale. Honestly, I don't even know. Wednesday, September 2nd. Jeez, I had a brain fart. It's early. Um, this is the earliest we've ever recorded. So don't be surprised if LD does not have his standard four cups in. It's true. I don't. See? So, yeah, I got to get on the road. I have to drive my mother to some doctor's appointments in Iowa City. Uh, We're leaving like in an hour, which is 4.30. So we're just killing it, dude. You are, man. Safe travels. Best wishes to your mom. Thank you. Thank you. It's, you know, honestly, if, if this was any other host besides you, I would feel really bad about this. But I know there's know if, I get up. if there's any other person out there that would be up, it's you. Yeah, it's true. It's my reputation at this point. So did you have a good day yesterday, LD? Yesterday was a fine day, man. Yeah, I spent some time with my parents. It's um, always good. It's always yeah, good. Yeah, they're older, so I go over there as much as I can, play some cards with my mom, maybe have a meal. And that's uh, that was a highlight of my day yesterday. For what sure. uh, what card game do you guys play? She only knows how to play one card game. Well, that's not true. She she can play rummy or you know some of the kids games like old maid or whatever. <laughs> uh, but we play uh, we play rummy. Uh huh. And that's her that's her game. So tell me this: Is rummy different than Michigan rummy? I don't know. I don't know what Michigan rummy is. Okay. And I think the version that she and I play is only slightly different than Gen Rummy. Okay. Just variation on the standard game. And, uh, uh, we played it my entire life. I learned how to play from my grandmother. And my mom loves to play. She's terrible at it. I kick her ass. I was just going to say, I bet you, you mop her up, don't you? <laughs> I do. I do, man. But she's got such a good spirit about it. Uh, she laughs it off uh, every single time. She thinks it's funny. Somehow I end up very frequently with all the aces and I just lay them down like I'm the king of the world. And, oh, uh, she gets awesome. a kick out of that. That's good. I'm glad, um, you know, it's always glad to be able to spend, or always good, not glad, good to spend some time with the folks. And I think, you know, just family alone, um, going to get a little deep here early in the morning because I'm tired, but um, you know, spend time with your family as much as possible. You know, I, it was what, probably two years ago, I lost my dad unexpectedly. And, um, you know, there's obviously times I wish that we could have another brewski or smoke yeah, a stogie yeah. or something. So that's my, my advice to everybody on this fine second day of September. Great Not really advice. a lot of market action yesterday. I know we'll talk about it a little bit later. Um, I think you and I both were pretty well on the sidelines for most of the day. And a large part of that was because of these high gas fees. Yeah. They're ridiculous. I know, um, you know, yesterday was they, we had set a single day record for Ethereum transaction fees. And I know there was a couple things that I wanted to get into Mm -hmm. or, you know, maybe cut some bags that I had. And I didn't because the the gas fee was fifty, sixty, thirty five, forty five dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just ridiculous. asinine. Yeah. And I saw yeah. someone was trying to get into a presale, and it was like five grand. <laughs> and they didn't, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about it a little bit later, but the the fees are definitely a turnoff to some of the speculation type plays that I would normally make yeah. over the past few days. Yeah. It, it's um, I don't know. I, you know, and we, we've kind of really talked about this a lot here in the last, well, this week really, because I kind of felt like it's been kind of a roller coaster with these ETH fees that early on in the Uniswap days, they weren't as bad. And then once, you know, more people came and got higher and then it kind of dipped a little and now we're back to being high again. Yeah. I want so, to go back to being low again. I do too. I saw someone tweet it. it um, I'm not going to say their name who said it, but they said that, uh, said should start a strike for ETH fees. Nobody do anything. 
which just made me chuckle a little bit. Yeah. So. And they're kind of, uh, I feel like they're unpredictable in a way. And, and maybe I'm not in tune to see why they are skyrocketing sometimes. But yeah, there'll be times when one second I'm paying a, a, a low fee and in a couple of hours, it's just, you know, at a place where I'm not comfortable paying it and I'll hold on to a coin longer than I want to. Yep. I can't really predict, you know, when the, when the fees are going to go crazy, but I suspect it has something to do right now with all the farming that's going on. Yeah, I think so too. I, you know, I'm yeah. not, not a genius on this. No, I'm not aspect. either. It's something you'd, you know, like Messiah or Sicarius would be ledger would be much more knowledgeable than I. Yeah. I, I think that, I mean, it has to be driving the price of Ethereum. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Seems like it, it would affect the fees as well. I will say, though, it has kept me in some bags that I wanted to capitulate with because I was not trusting the plan. And it mm -hmm. has kept me in it. And it, it has since rewarded me. Again, trust the plan. Be a plan truster. Thank you, yeah. Bob Laxative. Yeah, you got to be. And I, I have a story about the opposite of that that I'll tell when we get down to our shit coin segment. Uh, um, but before we get down there, one thing I saw in the news yesterday from Cointelegraph was a little memorandum or is an article about a memorandum from the IRS where they uh, emphatically state that any, any income you make in cryptocurrency uh, is going to be taxed. You have to report it, no matter how small. Um, so Stupid. all this kind of uh, crowdsourcing work that some people do in the blockchain industry, where you have these micro tasks and you're getting paid a little bit in crypto, the IRS wants to know about it. Of course they do. Yeah, that's uh, it's unfortunate. And, and the article also mentioned that some of it may be subject to a self employment tax as well. So we can't really get the relief that we want. It's very frustrating, right? Yeah. It, you know, it, it, the, the thing that's frustrating the most about it, and maybe it's not per, not necessarily just this news, but it's the fact that uh, it comes at this time, you know, when markets are bullish and it's like, I feel like we'll get a decent news article that, and there's not one that comes to mind, but, um, we'll get something bullish and then all of a sudden something like this will pop out and it's just kind of rains on everybody, buddy's parade. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, the joy is sometimes short lived because the right. good news is hit immediately with some bad news and nobody wants to hear this news about, uh, taxing crypto. It's, uh, easily the most frustrating part of the industry. I think. Yeah. It, um, you know, there just there just needs to be some guidance. Yeah, exactly. And I think we're only going to get some guidance when there are people working at the IRS who actually understand what's going on here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, the, I really don't get the impression that anybody there really gets it. They they either or they they get it and they want to make it so difficult for everyone that yeah. that's just their intention. Yeah, as. You know, and like in that article, it quotes, may be subject to self-employment tax. Well, is it or isn't it? Right. And I know this, and I know someone's probably out there listening thinking, well, they don't even know yet. Well, right. So why say it? But I, I mean, I do see, can contradict myself, you know, thinking just like the Coinbase thing where they're saying, well, we might list these or we might not. You know, they're just giving you some heads up, but. For some reason, I feel that'll be the most guidance that we get on this self-employment tax is them saying, you may be subject to it. Right. And then it will be at their whim at some point, whether we get taxed on it in that way or not. And we won't, we won't know until we know. Yeah. I, and we'll, the final sentence of, of this article says, one of the latest developments sees 2020 U.S. tax forms asking citizens to disclose if they have interacted with digital assets at all over the course of the most recent year. Annoying. So that's a, that's a yes or no question. We, we yeah. check the yes. 
Yeah, you know, it it really gets me. We had the kind of a crackdown in 2017 because of the ICOs. Mm -hmm. And they've had how many years now to figure it out? Right. You know, and not just around the ICOs. I mean, that should have been just a heads up to them to figure it out and pass the word down to the citizens in this, you know, three years that we've had. What have they been doing with it, you know? Yep. And they're going to pick it up again now and and do it the same way they did in 2017, probably. At least that feels like the way that, that yeah. it's going. Yeah. They're not plan trusters. That's they're the problem. Not. They trust in their own shitty plan. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, I think that's the most frustrating part with crypto as a whole. And I think maybe one of the reasons that, you know, we haven't seen this mass adoption is the fact that there's really no guidance, you know, on the ta- on a tax piece. I mean, right. People so, want to know what to do. Yeah. Believe it or not, there are people who uh, want to abide by the law and just pay their taxes. You know, if you tell them what they do, what to do, they're going to do it. Right. And um, until there's not cut and dry directions or description, they're just going to peace out. Yeah. I, I bet what's happening is the IRS doesn't have their bags filled. <laughs> so they're flooding crypto. Calling it. Yeah. Calling yeah. it right now. Well, I- Okay, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me your bags. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of bags, how's your arm bag doing? Mantra DAO. It's my arm bag. How you feeling? I'm I'm still super whatever on it, but and there there was a point when when I talked earlier in the intro about. I about capitulated, but then remembered I'm a plan truster and saw the five hundred fifty dollars in Ethereum fee. Yeah, um, I was gonna sell my alm. Yeah, for a small loss. Yeah, but then I remembered two things. W W B L D. What would Bob Laxative do? <laughs> and then W, and then I remembered L D promised me one dollar. Oh man! All right. <laughs> so I do believe it's it's going to a dollar. That's very true. I believe that in my, yeah. my heart of hearts. It's going to a dollar. Yeah, I think I think it could potentially. It pumped a little bit though, uh yesterday, I think. Yeah, it got up to like I don't know, did it I think it Let's might have reached small steps. Sixty cents, maybe. Yeah. And now and then it was probably like back down to 54 to 56 yeah and it's gonna hover there for a bit yeah i understand the frustration i guess it's been easier for me because i've had this dollar mark target in my head from the uh-huh. start uh-huh. and i've watched it i got in uh, earlier than you did yep so i've been able to watch it go up and feel comfortable with my position yeah and it's uh it's easy to hold on to something like this that's r- very rangy when mm-hmm. you're in profit. Yeah, yeah. And you know For where sure. it's at last night when I checked was like the 50 mid 50s. Mm-hmm. And that's just a tinge under where I got in cuz I like to buy local tops. Yeah. So that's what's harder for me and then thinking about the opportunity cost that could be missed on other opportunities. Um, but you know, I'm one of those guys that everything happens for a reason and these high gas fees are making me trust the plan. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about me not trusting the plan. All right, let's get into this. So a couple of weeks ago, I guess I bought this shit coin with the ticker LGCY. Oh God, I know where this is going. Legacy network. And it went down. And I held, and I held, and I held. And this morning, or yesterday morning, um, it started pumping. Naturally. And I break even. Actually, a little over break even because I wanted to account for the fees. 
at least in part. Yep. So that's what I did. I got out and it proceeded to continue to pump without me. It's sad. It is, it, you know, because I spent so much time just praying that it would, that I could break even. And I didn't even have a lot in there. I just hate selling when I'm down. Oh God, pisses me off. I know. I mean, it's the same. Everybody feels that way, right? It's never easy to just right. uh, sell it when you're down. So I held it for weeks and I just didn't have any faith in it. You know, I, yep. I, I had to sell it at break even. No, I, I get, I get it. Totally get it. What's even going to be more frustrating for you is, um, I had it too. And I sold it for like you a little profit, not much. So seeing that pump, I think it almost went 200% seeing Mm -hmm. that pump yesterday was quite frustrating because what I try and do a lot of times, and it's hard Believe me, but one thing I try and do is once I sell a bag, A, I never try and re-enter, and B, I never try and look back at the chart. You know, yeah, yeah. could be stupid, but it's just one way I can help my FOMO miss. Yeah, I mean that's a principle I I live by too in this in, in these markets. I I hate to re-enter a project that I've already exited. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I feel the same way. And it's it's difficult for me to not look back. I usually have a chart kept up. Because yeah, I wanna very I, I wanna prove to myself that I was right, you know, mm-hmm. that I did the right thing by selling. So I wanna continue to refresh that chart. Yeah. And, yeah, right. and here's here's my bit bad example of this. I back to flow, bought flow at seven cents. Um, doubled. So I took out my initial investment and had a moon bag, what I call the moon bag, sold it at 38 cents. And then I checked the chart the next morning and it was at like 20 cents. And I thought, I'm a genius. Mm -hmm. I'm a genius. This is easy. Not really. But I was like, yes, feeling good about it. And then in a group I'm in, someone's like, yo, have you guys seen flow lately? It's $2 and 40 cents. And I'm like, God, and it kept going up, didn't it? Uh, yeah, I think it peaked at like two sixty something. Oh, okay. And then I bought back in at a dollar seventy on a dip, and then I bought back in, or I, then I loaded double down, loaded up uh, at seventy cents, and I ended up selling out for break even. I got lucky, but yeah. that's something. Not something. That's the prime reason why I do what I say. <laughs> Right on. It was frustrating. I got a scam story I saw happen today. You want to hear about that? Is it curry? It's curry. Okay. I saw some people tweeting about it last night, (laughs) but I don't, I didn't, you know, I wasn't around much last night. Okay. So I'm in this telegram group with some really funny guys. Um, Is it the one I'm in also? You are in there. Yes. You know which one. Hilarious guys. They really are really funny. And, uh, you know, they're always looking for the next scam and that's or uh, just shit coin in general. And that's one of the reasons why I love that group, because I know I can go in there and they've got something on, oh, the, yeah. hot, Every on day. the hot plate, you know, that we can at least discuss and decide whether we're going to go in. So someone points out this curry dot finance project and there's not even a website, <laughs> not even a website for it. There's only a discord. So you get in the Discord, and there's only a few channels in the Discord for this project. Um, and they claim to be running a, a meme contest and a, an invite contest. And there's only an announcement channel where there's a mod talking. Nobody's talking about it anywhere else in, in the Discord. So you can go back and look at the announcements, and they're running a pre-sale. And it's clear by their messaging that they just decided to run a presale on a whim. It was like, oh, people want a presale. Okay, we'll do that. So the presale oh, is going to end good. And the presale is run by, uh, well, they, they just post an Ethereum address in the Discord and basically say, send ETH here to this address. 
So the guys in the Telegram are all kind of either energized about it. Some people are saying it's a clear scam. It's obvious. Other people are, well, actually nobody was saying outright that it wasn't a scam. Everybody mm -hmm. assumed that it was, but they're egging each other on as to who would uh, throw Ethereum at this. Like who's going to be the, the sacrificial <laughs> lamb? Who's going who's uh, to do it? These and guys. multiple people did it from, from that Telegram group. But then the cap on the presale in Discord was 150 Ethereum. They, that project accumulated all 150. Shut up. And when they got 150, the mod comes back in the Discord and says, we're oversold. So the new cap is 200. <laughs> tell me, please tell me they didn't hit it. They hit it. The 200. They hit, they hit it. Yeah. And when it was done, the mod deleted each message out of the announcement channel and then deleted the entire group from Discord. And that was it. They walked away with 200 Ethereum, that's like 95K. And I, in one window on my laptop, I'm watching the Discord, I'm watching this happen in Discord, and in the other window, I'm watching this Telegram group. And it's just a really fun and funny to me experience to watch these guys get scammed and them not really care, they think it's funny. You know, nobody really put a lot of money into this potential scam. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of play money. And they kind of know what's going to happen. Here, uh, here's the, the thing. The energy around it just cracks me up. Yeah. The thing with those guys, and, and I, I'm going to stick up for them because there are a lot of good guys in that group. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're young and they're loaded. So, or no, I shouldn't say loaded, but they're, they're good at what they do. They're good. Mm -hmm. They're good at finding these. I mean, hell, one guy called Spider Finance at twenty-five cents, and it proceeds to go to sixty-eight dollars. So, um, you know, all they need is one of those spiders. Yeah, yeah. And then, because we're talking, you know, maybe they're th tossing at most one Ethereum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know a lot of guys in there do half an Ethereum. Even some do a quarter, because if they hit a hundred X, you know. That's going to pay. If. Yeah. Then they can take five of those, set it aside and say, I'm only going to do, um, you know, half an Ethereum on anything that remotely looks like a scam. Yeah. So, the, you know, I don't want people to think that it, it's a bunch of idiots in there because no, they're smart no, about what they chance. do. No, no they definitely I agree. Are. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not they saying just, you were saying that. Yeah. They, they just have a lot of fun with it. I think in a, in a way, so I'm in several of these types of telegram groups with very different types of people and their attitude towards it is a lot more lighthearted and fun than some of the other groups that I'm in. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so I have a blast being in there. They're all a lot younger than me and that's, that's fine. I enjoy, you know, being a part of that type of atmosphere. So I, I don't really say a whole lot in that group. But yeah. I, I do observe and chime in here and there to make my presence known. Um, but it, it's fun. It's great to see uh, people being successful and also being willing to risk a little bit and laugh when it doesn't work out. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, you know, and you know they're not risking at all, so it, it's yeah. not painful to see per se. For sure. So that's interesting. I had seen that there was some chatter about this um, on Twitter last night and I didn't, I'd message D's about it, but uh, he didn't get in. So he's kind of the guy that I, whether he likes us or not, and he's, he's awesome, but he's kind of the guy that I lean on a lot for these D5 madness because mm -hmm. he's super smart. He's got a tech background. And he made these commandments for him. Yes. And I've seen that list. It's yeah, it's list. legit. Yeah. So I'll always message him and we kind of just bounce stuff off each other. Yeah, I agree. He's got a really good eye for, um, yeah. for projects that are, uh, I'll say, real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, he can, he can spot them really well. Yeah. So I'm going to start giving my bag update 
on a daily okay. basis. And I'm not going to give them an order um, of size. I'm just going to give them. So I've got obviously Arrow, um, Leverage, Ethereum, UBQ, MTA, your buddy is DIA. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's frustrating. No Lid, um, Falcon Swap, FSW, and Painful Um. OM. Painful Um. Yeah, I feel you. So, so I those, didn't know you were still in Falcon Swap. Is that a moon bag or are you? Um, you I bought back figure? in. Oh, okay. Last night. All right. Or no, not last night. Two nights ago. Two nights ago. Every time I look at that chart, I wonder why I exited. Yeah. And, you know, last I had checked, again, not before eight in the morning. Um, last I had checked, I was a tinge underwater. Mm -hmm. But I'm fully confident it's going to be fine. Yeah. I'm going to take another look at it later today. Maybe I'll get back in. There's something about it that just feel, it, it feels right to me. I feel like I should have a little bit in my bag. Yeah. That's kind of... I've come to the determination and I was actually going to pull out of it today and um, I was up a little and I was going to pull out, but obviously I didn't because of the fees. Mm -hmm. Right on. Um, all right, let's go to our game. Let's do it. It's, it's called funny sports terms. So I'm going to give you the funny sports term and you're going to try and guess what sport it is from. It's going to okay. be good because I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to know everything about, about sports, so it'll stump me, I think. Okay. So then um, if we get halfway and you're like, haven't gotten a single one, I'll do multiple choice. Okay. How many do we have? 11. Okay. So first one is deuce. Um, tennis. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. Nice. Yeah. Um, how about lettuce or flow? Lettuce or flow? What sport? Cricket. Close, but hockey. Talks about the hair. Okay. Prince will, Prince will know that. Yeah, you will. And I'm going to, I'm, this one I think you'll know, but I think I might pronounce it wrong. Fartlek? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I didn't know it was a sport. <laughs> well, what is it? No, I don't know. I don't know that one at all. It's in running. Oh, really? I run a lot. No, no I don't you, know that. I thought for sure you would know that one. No. What is it? Do you know? Um, or do you just know it's a term? Yeah. I, I, so I looked up some funny terms. It, it means speed play in Swedish, and it's continuous training with interval training. Fart like okay. runs are very simple form of a long distance run. It's defined as periods of fast running intermixed with periods of slower running. So it's basically yeah. like hit, you know, yeah. high intensity training. Yeah, yeah. Fart so, like okay. fart like it's F A R T L E K, and I'm I'm probably saying it wrong because I'm an idiot, but um, I like the way you. Why, no, I like that way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it has the word "fart" in it, so it's got to yeah, be funny. Yeah, it's perfect. Um, frozen rope. What's a frozen rope? Frozen rope. Oh man, frozen rope. No clue. It's baseball. So, like, if you have a good throw from, say, right field to third base, and it's like on a line and a really good throw they call it a frozen rope do people really say that though oh yeah okay. really yep okay well baseball yep. is extremely boring no you take that back right me no out. no it's one of the oh. worst ones out there we're gonna Ooh. <laughs> all right next one a bonk bonk um wrestling running sheesh i'm no runner yeah, so a bonk running, um, it's like when you hit a wall and you're suddenly tired. Yeah, I just call that hitting the wall. Me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, you ready? Next one? Yeah. Put it in the five hole. 
That's like golf or something. Hockey. So it's uh, the five hole is between the goalie's legs. Man, I'm terrible at this. All right, so I'll start giving multiple choice. Nutmeg. Is it A, baseball, B, soccer, or C, golf? B, soccer. Yep, correct. Did you know that? I did, and which is crazy because I hate soccer too. I did too. Terrible sport. Uh, you ready for this one? Yeah. A uh, threesome. Is it A golf, B tennis, or C running? I'm gonna guess golf. Correct. Oh, nice, complete guess. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> you're going to laugh at this one next fisted. Mm. Is it a basketball B football or C baseball fisted fisted? Like, look at that guy. He got fisted. Is yeah. How it's used. Well, if I give it away, you're going to say what? Baseball. Correct. Baseball. So it's when like you you swing at an inside pitch and it almost hits your hands. Okay, that makes you, sense. So you get fisted. Yeah. Um. Next one, shuttlecock. Do you know? That's I know what that is, right? That's the that's badminton. Correct. There you go. Yeah, it's the the thing you did. Yep. And last but not least, a rear naked choke. Rear naked choke. Is it hockey, MMA, or table tennis? Table tennis. <laughs> no, it's MMA. Oh, man, I thought that was too obvious. Yeah, I know. It does seem too obvious for a rear naked choke. Oh, but, well. Man, hey, sucks. you didn't do too bad. You got four out of 11. That's terrible. It's not good. But could be worse. It could be. I thought you started off hot. You got the deuce right away. I know about deuces. Yes, you do. (laughs) All right, folks. Have have yourself a good Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in again. If you like, subscribe. Give us five stars. Leave a little review for us. Follow us on Twitter, GM underscore Bitcoin. Uh, Appreciate you guys listening. Uh, Don't eat beans for breakfast. Tip your waitress for LD and myself. You guys have a good day. Stay safe. We'll talk to you guys. See you tomorrow.